Lucifer, son of the morning, I'm gonna chase you out of earth. Okay, next hour on the Bob Tuskin Show, I'm going to be opening up the phone lines, covering some more news and going on several different rants. Uh, I have been fiending to get back on the air, and well, here I am. Almost didn't make it. Got in a pretty bad accident, actually. My car was pretty near totaled, uh, and uh, well, that's a whole different story. I don't want to get into that. I'm uh, trying to get my mind off of that and focus on moving ahead. Luckily, Again, my pregnant wife wasn't with me. Thanks uh, for asking. I appreciate it. All right, uh, James, final segment here for us, and it goes by fast, but don't worry. Uh, the month also goes by fast before uh, we're back at it again on the first Wednesday. And uh, let's see here. There's a number of different things that we have yet to get to. Well, I was, uh, if you let me, sure. Berinsky, um, the, the music set the tone perfectly because I wanted to make the mention because we usually go out with our media discussions. So Lauren Hill and the, and the tax problem. Did you catch any of that story? Oh, no. You're, you're telling me there's a Lauren Hill story? There is a Lauren Hill story. So basically, oh. the f story first came up and said, oh, she's dodged taxes. And a few days later, she published basically a, an epic manifesto on her website that basically says, quote, addressing critical issues like pop culture, cannibalism, or its manipulation of the young at the expense of everything was frowned upon and discouraged by limited funding or, or denying it outright. Basically, manipulated and controlled by a media-protected mi mi military-industrial complex. Okay, forget about it. Next hour, I've just decided I'm going to be doing nothing but Lauren Hill. I find, uh, yeah, I, it's interesting when, because I think we see a lot of, again, in the, in the media scape, and, and perhaps we've discussed this probably a little bit, Bob. It seems like basically there's a removal of anybody who has anything of any substance, and they are replaced with, with basically Disney robots, which isn't that far of a stretch. Yeah, well, Lauren Hill had this um, evolution of thought, and she decided that she was going to start writing even more conscious of lyrics, uh, and uh, for those that don't know who Lauren is, uh, she is a very popular R&B, hip-hop, uh, pop singer. And uh, in the, the early 2000s, she was just viral. I mean, I remember as a as, um, fairly young adult uh, watching Lauren Hill and her videos being on the top of the charts on MTV and all, all the mainstream mumbo-jumbo. Uh, but uh, Lauren changed. She said, no, I, I get out of all of your boxes. And uh, since you brought this up, I have some great Lauren Hill stuff that I've been meaning to share uh, in an extended platform, an extended uh, you know, hour. Uh, so next hour, in addition to taking calls as we get them, we will uh, read some Lauren Hill quotes because she has a number of different quotes and a book that I have yet to get my hands on. Uh, and we'll also play some of her music. Basically, what she did was, James, at uh, the MTV Unplugged appearance. They wanted her on MTV Unplugged. This was at the climax of her career. Was this still kind of Fuji's era, or was this solo? This was uh, See, I, her I, solo and era. Actually, Bob, if I can interject, I, I kind of thought you were kind of screwing with me for a second. When I mentioned Lauren Hill, I kind of thought you were like, oh, you're bringing up another kind of celebrity news thing. No, no, I'm serious about Lauren Hill. I love Lauren Hill I love. I, there's so much stuff that I can play for you that complements the themes that we discuss mm. on this show. I mean, she is probably one of the most insightful lyricists that I've heard in some time now, along with greats, of course, that uh, are in the alternative media, not uh, as mainstream, such as Payday and, you know, the Geo and the others. Uh -huh. uh, but, uh, no, Lauren Hill, she, she basically surprised the world. And what she did was she went on MTV Unplugged. You know the Unplugged series. Uh, yes. Yeah. Quite popular. And, and that's exactly what it is. It's Unplugged. So she went on with her acoustic guitar, and she didn't do her pop songs. 
She didn't do her hits. She did her revolutionary tunes uh, that she had just written. And after that, after that, uh, Columbia Records, who she was signed with, which, of course, there's all sorts of symbolism with Columbia Records and their control in the music industry, uh, they essentially dropped her and would not release her album and was trying to force her to comply with, with their standards, which, of course, is dumbed down. And we know for a fact that the prison industrial complex has its hand on music in, in music, specifically uh, black music and, and that kind of music, uh, because they want to promote criminality. They want to promote stereotypes and uh -huh. connotations uh, that will fuel their prisons, that will feed their system. And, yeah, dead prez's be healthy doesn't fit into that. Doesn't just doesn't crack the, the XXL charts, does it? No. Well, I'm glad I'm I'm glad you you you're stoked about that. So that's still on the front page of of mediamonarchy.com. I of course I got that from the always insightful and and provocative vigilantcitizen.com. Vigilant citizen, yeah, good stuff there. All right, and now I'm definitely going on the website. I didn't have it up before, but now if you're <laughs> like me and you have been waiting for the entire hour to actually go to the site and pull it up in one of your Millions of tabs like I, I have. Well, and I've been trying on the site to kind of, with, with all the sites, is to kind of streamline them and kind of strip them down a little bit to hopefully make them a little more manageable and to also include all the links to hopefully make folks go, oh, he's got a, you know, a technology blog or a... Or a no, know. it looks good. I, I like the top here, all these tabs here. New World Next Week, Food World Order, Cyberspace War, Holy Hexes, Navigating Netflix, Pump Up the Volume Music. Uh, you got it all there, and let's see here. What's that? Oh, Lauren Hill there. Third story yeah. down. Lauren Hill's taxing problem manipulated and controlled by a media protected by the military industrial complex. And that's 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 the quote from her letter posted on on her Tumblr page. But it follow, It took a couple days because it was just one of those weekend tabloid kind of stories of oh ha ha, Lauren Hill's in trouble with tax man. These stars, you know, they always think they're above the law, you know. Let's yeah, they did the same thing uh, with Wesley Snipes. Of course. You know, they had to make an example out of him. Uh, and I, I wish I wish that he was able to educate people uh, more on, on what he was standing for. But uh -huh. unfortunately... Well, and that's I the know, thing. It looked like he was, he was going about it kind of, you know, his, I think his goals were worthy but he probably got hooked up with shady folks. Well, and not only that, James, you know, at the end of the day, you're being told that if you talk, that, uh, well, you're going to be uh, in a lot more trouble. Man, I'd like know? to see, again, as, as we start to wrap it up here, Bob, I, so many bands and so many artists like, like Lauren Hill can basically publish on a Tumblr site. It doesn't have to get a massive press release from Columbia or any of that. You can just post it on your Tumblr page or whatever new independent blog you want. And we, yeah, could, and we could just not look and we could break away from so many of the corporations. I actually, I kind of, in talking to a friend the other night, came up with the analogy that hadn't quite hit me before that we've made so many inroads, I think, over the last couple of years on the levels of food and health and the environment. And that once people found out about pink slime or BPA or high fructose corn syrup, they stopped getting it and the companies went, oh, God, we're going to have to change that. People are on to us. But that doesn't work with the military industrial complex because I don't buy missiles from Boeing, at least not directly. But I can stop buying food from Nestle North America.